hello friends uh, uh, in this video lecture uh, we are going to discuss the problems based on lamis theorem lamis theorem is a topic which comes under the unit 5 of equilibrium uh, under unit 5 there are three topics number, number one lamis theorem number two simply supported beam reactions and third is the space frame that is 3d force system uh, according to question paper pattern the question phi a that is six marks question phi b seven marks and uh, its r is question six a six marks question six b <coughs> seven marks okay so uh, questions phi uh, question phi b and question six b seven marks uh, based on uh, space forces and uh, from phi a six marks is, uh, is either Lamis theorem or beam reactions or uh, 6a either be either Lamis theorem or beam reactions okay normally <coughs> so this is the question paper pattern okay so now we are going to discuss the actual problems okay find the tension in each rope as shown in figure uh, this is the <coughs> figure given to us a a c uh, b c and uh, there one mass is mass of 100 kg is hanging on the third cable okay so <coughs> now we have to uh, calculate the tension in each uh, cable cable ac and cable bc okay so solution as we know that cable wire rope chains are always subjected to tensions okay and uh, tension is directed away from the center okay so uh, for drawing the free word diagrams, we have to cut this cable and show the tension tensile force acting in this cable. Okay, so see, see this is the free word diagram. Okay, uh, cable <coughs> AC is written like this. Uh, it is either AC or CA. You write whatever you want. Okay, so CA I, I have written here CA. T means tension. CA tension in cable CA. CB tension in cable CB. And <coughs> the Third, third is the mass given that is the 100 into 9.81 is equal to 90, 981 newton okay and uh, the angle this angle is given as 30 this, uh, <coughs> this slope is given so we are able to calculate the angle is tan inverse of 4 by 3 that will give the 53.13 so this is 53.13 this this is 90 degrees so 90 plus 53.13 is 143.13 is the, this angle this angle is given as 30 this complete is 90 so 90 minus 30 this this remaining is 60 degree and <clears throat> this is 143 plus 60 and that minus 360 that this will give the third angle that is 156.87 okay now we know that for the Lamis theorem we know the three forces and that three forces should be coplanar and concurrent okay and that uh, forces should, uh, again that forces should be either pulling or pushing okay so this is the condition for the Lamis theorem now apply the Lamis theorem Lamis theorem means this force divided by its opposite sine angle that is sine 156.87 now TCA this is the force divided by its opposite angle that is sine 60 is equal to TCB divided by its opposite angle that is sine 143.113 and uh, just do the cross multiplication we will get tension in cable ca and tension in cable cb which is in newton okay this is the way of uh, way uh, how to apply the Lamis theorem okay so problem number one is complete now problem number two <coughs> block p is equal to 5 kg and block q of mass m kg is suspended through the cord is in equilibrium position as to in figure determine the mass of the block q now here there are two masses are given earlier there are only one single mass okay so now in this we have to analyze, analyze the problem for the uh, twice that is at joint p and at joint c <coughs> at joint c uh, <coughs> at joint b okay so this is uh, the diagram t b a t b c and this is the mass okay so now the calculation of angle again the, this angle calculate 10 inverse of 4 by 3 to 53.1 uh, 53.13 is the angle that is 10 inverse of 4 by 3 slope in the same way 53.3 this angle plus 90 that is 143.13 this is <coughs> in, uh, this 30 is given and uh, this is 90 so this complete is 120 so now you add this two angle 120 plus 143.13 minus 360 you will get remaining third angle okay now apply the this uh, convert mass kg in newton i into 9.81 okay so it is kg into newton now apply the Lamis theorem to the uh, adjoints b okay so 5 into 9.81 divided by sine 96.87 is equal to tba divided by sine 120 
is equal to TBC divided by sin 143.13. This will give the TBA is equal to 42.79 and TBC is 29.64. Okay. Now after uh, B joint is over, now go to the joint uh, joint C. <coughs> Uh, joint C, there were uh, cable TCD mass Q is equal to M into 9.81 and TBC. Now, uh, TBC we have already cal calculated and we, we must know that for the equili sake of equilibrium, there should be equal and uh, opposite equal in magnitude opposite in nature tension is there okay so that same we have to transfer on these sides this already we have calculated 29.64 this 29.64 okay and this is the down okay this angle is 30 so remaining is 60 this is uh, this angle is going to 70 and this is 90 90 plus 70 160 and uh, you uh, third angle you will get minus by being minus 360 okay so mass this this force divided by sine 140 is equal to 29.64 divided by sine 160. This is the Lamy's theorem at joint C. Therefore, M is equal to 5.678 in kg. This is the second problem. Now third, go to the other third problem. Uh, a circular roller of weight 1000 Newton and radius 20 centimeter hangs by a tie rod AB is equal to 40 centimeter and rest against a smooth vertical wall at C as shown in figure. Determine tension in the rod and reaction at point C. This is the figure given to us. Okay, diameter of cylinder is given. <coughs> the cylinder is raised against a vertical wall and a tie rod is, is attached and, uh, to, uh, to uh, hang the cylinder. Okay, now uh, we know that the radius is given and the length of this tie rod is given. The angle is not given, but angle we are able to calculate is cos theta is equal to 20 by 60. That is uh, adjacent upon hypotenuse. Okay, is so therefore theta is equal to 60. Okay, now we have to draw the FBD of this roller. Okay, and and we must uh, we again uh, the know that at when there is a contact between two surfaces, the normal reaction exists between the two surfaces. Okay, so this is the at at point C there is a contact between the cylinder and a vertical wall. So here there is a reaction comes and that reaction is always perpendicular to this surface and we call it as a normal reactions. Okay, so this uh, we are removing this tag always under tension. So we have to show like this TAB tension in tie rod AB okay uh, <clears throat> mass or weight of the cylinder which is always acting vertically downwards through the center of the center of the circle or center of the body that is thousand and we have to show up what the normal reaction that is RC so in uh, some uh, in some book it is written as RC that is reaction at C or some in some book it is written as NC normal reaction at C okay so it is should be uh, so this is the free body diagram for the uh, roller okay but now, now th these are the three forces but now uh, for application of lamy's theorem we, we know that it should that forces should be either con uh, either uh, pushing or pulling okay so we have to apply the principle of transmissibility here okay to uh, get it is in the form of lamy's theorem application of lamy's theorem okay so what we are doing we are the principle of uh, transmissibility says that we are we are going to apply the force anywhere in the line uh, along it, along passing through its center, okay. Its centroid should not be disturbed, okay. So, uh, the this force instead of uh, showing here, I am going to act this force on here, okay, like this RC. See, but line of action should remain same, uh, line of action should not be disturbed. That is the principle of transmitted state, okay. And this force should be uh, downward, and this is a tension in cable AB. Now, see this after uh, this is the fbd after application of principle of transmissibility of force now for this force we are easily apply, uh, going to apply the lamy's theorem this is 90 this is uh, this is 60 therefore this will become 30 so this is 120 and this is 90 plus 60 150 okay now apply lamy's theorem that is 1000 divided by sine 120 is equal to rc divided by sine 150 and tab divided by sine 90 so you will get rc is equal to 577.35 and TAB is equal to 1154.7 Newton. Okay. Now the problem number four. A cylinder of mass 50 kg is resting on a smooth surface which are inclined at 30 degree and 60 degree to the horizontal as shown in figure. Determine the reaction at, uh, at contact A and B. Okay. This is the cylinder is given. There are two inclined surfaces 60, 30 and we have to call up, uh, calculate the normal reaction that is NB or RB. Uh, and RA okay 
then uh, now solution draw, where to first uh, where to draw the pivot diagram first okay now see the, this is the pivot diagram the weight of the cylinder acting through the centroid that is 15 to 9.81 now this angle is given as 60 where to show this this is the normal reaction act that is rb this angle is given as 60 so remaining is 30 degree this, this is 60 this is normal reaction therefore 90 degree angle so naturally remaining angle is 30 degree now, since this is 30 degree it's alternate this this angle become 30 degree okay uh, similarly on the on these sides this is the normal reaction therefore this angle is 90 degree this is uh, this is given as 30 degree so remaining is 60 degree now so this is 60 degree it's alternate this is 60 degree okay now just show the forces like this <coughs> This is 60, therefore this is 90, this is become 150, this is 30, this is 90, therefore this become 120. So 120 plus 150, 270 minus 360, you will get nine, uh, remaining angle 90 degree. Now apply to Lamin's theorem this. 50 upon 50 into 9.81 divided by sine 90 is equal to RA divided by sine 120 is equal to RB divided by sine 150. So just do the cross multiplication. We we will get R is equal to 424.79 newton. R B is equal to 245.25 newton. Okay. Now the problem we to solve the problem number five. Two ropes are tied together at B as shown figure. If <coughs> the maximum permissible tension in each rope is 3000 newton, what is the maximum force P that can be applied? Okay. So these are the two ropes a b and b c are tied together at point p and there is a one force inclined force is pa passing p at an angle theta okay this angle is 30 this angle ticket okay no solution consider abdl at point p this is the b points okay this force is there this theta p cos theta p sin theta now this cable or rope cut this show its tension force and that is given as 3000 newton so 3000 newton and this angle is 30 again the the tension in this rope is again given as 3000 okay now see this there are three forces all are all are coplanar and all are pulling forces we are able to apply the Lamis theorem but but only kind of the uh, limitations to Lamis theorem is that this theta is not given since it's theta and uh, no we don't have any option of trigonometry to calculate this th theta okay so uh, so the Lamis theorem is not going to applicable in this in this uh, problem okay so we have to go by our regular uh, regular procedure that is the resolution of the force okay so we just uh, resolve all these three forces in sign and cos component so apply summation fx is equal to zero right force positive left force negative p cos theta plus 3000 cos 40 minus 3000 cos 30 is equal to zero therefore p cos 30 is equal to 299.94 this will call as equation one now apply summation fy is equal to zero uh, upward force positive downward force negative p sin theta minus 3000 sin 40 minus 3000 sin 30 is equal to zero therefore p sin theta is equal to 3428.36 this is called as equation number two now divide equation two by one that is p <coughs> sin theta upon p cos theta that will give the tan theta is okay so after uh, dividing this equation you will get theta is equal to 85 degree and put this theta is equal to 85 degree either in equation 1 or 2 we will get p so here i have put is in equation 2 so p is equal to 3441.46 newton okay so this is the uh, first video on, uh, on language theorem in next video we are going to cover the more problems on the cylinder okay thank you